Hey everyone, it is Zach, and today we are going to talk about the Mandibuzz team that I used in a Spike Myth ladder and did pretty well with, went six and two and ended up in the eighth position out of like 50 some players. So I feel like it was pretty good. And when I used the team, I tested it a little and then I built the team and didn't really make a showdown video for it. So I wanted to do that. So the first iteration of the team is basically the same of what I had it before, except there is a mammoth swine on it with an expert belt. The reason for expert belt is to just do more damage on super effective moves and uh, Mandibuzz had the focus sash. So there's that. And when playing with the team, it felt good to have a Lando eye answer, but I feel like I really didn't need a Lando eye answer as much as I needed uh, a, a solid mon for the Firewater Grass Core. So that's where I went for Rillaboom. And this is the team here. You see the Mandibuzz with the Snarl and the Air Slash with the Taunt and the Tailwind. Taunt is really good because you can't get taunted yourself as a dark type Pokemon. So what I would do if I was worried about a Trick Room is that I would lead Kangaskhan uh, with fake out because it's a pretty fast fake out and then uh, have taunt on the mandibuzz and then I would have to start like clicking last resort Onto the trick room setter to try to get it off the field But Rillaboom uh, drum beating to have some form of speed control Outside of tailwind I feel like it did okay But what I use it mostly for is the fake out grassy glide and u-turn drum beating really didn't do much uh, on the side of speed control itself and I don't even know I might have put wood hammer in its place but the only change that I would make to this team so far is that I would as you see here I would switch leftovers on the heatran for shook a berry because most of the time the air balloon was just getting popped on a switch in uh, my Heatran's not that fast, so without Tailwind, it's usually not going first. So I feel like the Shookaberry would take better advantage of the item slot than the Air Balloon would. There weren't many times where I had the, the safe call of switching in Heatran into a ground type move and knowing that the Air Balloon would help it. But we're going to jump into it. If you guys enjoy the team and want to check out more about it, make sure you check out my previous laddering videos. Uh, and let me know what you think about the team in the comments down below. I know Dr. Dave has been a really big fan of Mandibuzz and this team inspired him to try it out himself. So I hope he's doing well with that Mandibuzz build. Okay. Ooh. So, so, so much, so much trick room. Okay. Um. We could calm mind. How do I want to do this? Landris and Heatran? That Araquanid is scary. Okay. And they're gonna get trick room up. Uh, here. I want a sludge bomb. And switch into Rillaboom. Mm. 
and I didn't bring the Feeny. Oh man, this is, this is a pretty hard trick room team. They probably have the stack attack in the back. Oh my goodness, I hate this. <laughs> Jeez, that's a that's a it's a good trick room team. All right, not bad for the first battle. Okay, so this is the team that Colin used in the one tour. protect expanding force yeah that's fine uh so we use the fake out so we can fake out here in last resort Grassy Glide. Okay, they're just gonna forfeit. Uh, I don't really know what their game plan was after that, but oh well. I don't think they expected NDD to go down that quickly. And it was a bit of a change because the NDD had Rocky Helmet. So we got neutralizing gas. Uh, so Weavile is actually faster here than Kang is gone.
Okay. So we fake out either way. And we tailwind. Because at least we'll get the tailwind up. And with Genghis Khan, like, you have to fake out turn one because you only have two moves. Last Resort's going to fail automatically and won't be able to be used, like, the next turn. So they switch out. That's fine. So we get the Tailwind up. Okay, so we're already playing at a disadvantage here. Just bringing Landers and Heatran. They can't deal with priority. So, Psychic is the best move, unless they go Tyranitar, and then we'll Flash Cannon. Yeah, Psychic is still going to hit hard. So, let's protect a Heat Wave. just stalled out the tailwind you could have shook a berry Orb. Okay, so let's try psychic and we'll double into the Urshifu. I knew, like, Tapu Finis are usually always choice scarfed. And that's probably what it was. Because I'm set to outspeed both of them with uh, Landorus. Okay, so there's a P2 here. No Landorus this time. I feel like we should have gone Landorus. Okay, so we can just go Snarl. And bring in Heatran. There's the trick room. Uh, I would have to say we see a helping hand dazzling gleam.
At this point, I would go flash cannon. Yeah. Torkoal comes out. You can't really eruption here. You have to earth power. So we can snarl. So I would I, I have to say we see a helping hand snarl. You just gave us a boost. You just gave us a boost. Okay, so now we start clicking Calm Mind. And Protect. Because they're also burning Sun Turns. So they confirmed. Might as well go for the double. Finney's got this. Yeah, that's fine. Because you brought up Psychic Train, so now you can't Drain Punch. Well, you can't uh, mock punch, is what I meant. So Finney should outspeed here. Uh, we do speed high, but he trans faster. Okay, so we're gonna go for the Muddy water, earth power. Yeah, Finny just won that. Some good GGs going around. But yeah, that's, I mean, that's the team. I didn't get to show it off too well, but I feel like on cart, I played it a lot better. But then again, like I said, I haven't played for a week, so the metagame has shifted. But I just wanted to show this team off, uh, put a video where the EVs were out in the wild so you guys could try it out yourself. Let me know what you think. If you guys enjoy this content, do not forget to like and subscribe. I'm working my way up to 900 subscribers, so if you made it this far in the video, I do appreciate you, and that's going to be all. So until next time, I'm Zach. We'll see everyone later.